Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And if you wanna know a secret of mine to manifest anything from money to abundance to protection using just one item, you landed on the right video. Today I'm going to show you where to put sea salt to manifest anything that you need in your life. Listen, after doing this and letting it go, your life will change. But I do need you to watch this all the way to the end because you guys know I love to throw in extra tips to help you guys with your manifestations. But before we go, if you're new to this channel, this is a law of attraction metaphysical channel that brings you life-changing information. So don't forget, join the family. Support us by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. Now, if you want to know where to put salt to manifest anything, keep watching. I'm back. Now, what is it that I have to tell you about sea salt or Himalayan salt? If you watch my other videos, you guys already know that I speak a lot about sea salt, cinnamon, bay leaves, basil, the whole nine. But in this video, I'm going to give you four places to put sea salt to absolutely change your life. Now, I'm talking about bringing in a money, tra attracting money, um, bringing in any type of abundance, maybe your career. I'm also talking about protection, protecting yourself from loss, protecting yourself from attack. This is powerful, you guys. And the only thing you need is sea salt. So now, let me get to the four places where I want you to place sea salt to protect you and attract abundance in all ways. Okay, you guys. Now, number one is your wallet. If you place a little sea salt near your money, your dollars, or your change, whatever currency you're using, it will not only protect your money from loss, but it would also attract abundance into your life. Now, listen, you guys, this is one of the most powerful things you can do to attract money. I'm saying sea salt, Himalayan salt. You just sprinkle a little bit in your wallet near your money and you let it go. Now, one thing I would like to tell you guys as a tip, wherever you're keeping your money, you should respect it. Do not jam money in your wallet or just throw money in your purse. Respect it, expecting it to come back to you multiply. That is one of the feng shui's rules to money attracting. Treat your wallet with respect or your purse. But other than that, the only thing you need to do is sprinkle salt, sea salt, a Himalayan salt in your wallet and watch your money grow. At the same time, it will protect your wallet from losing money, from money going out and not coming back in. So that's all it is. But one more thing. you A lot of you guys are going to ask me, Yvette, how long do I keep the sea salt in my wallet? Before you even ask that, listen, put it there and forget about it. Okay, but I do have a 10 day rule. If for me, I absolutely would get a, some extra sea salt and place some more in my wallet in 10 days. That's just a rule that I use. It's a 10 day rule for a lot of things that I use. So if you put sea salt in your wallet, a couple of sprinkles here and there, go back and see if it's still there in 10 days and put a little bit more. If you can even pour that out and add some more to it, okay? Now let's get on to the next place to put sea salt. I'm back. Now, the next place I would tell you to place sea salt is on the floor entering your home. Now, I will tell you this, you guys have to be careful with what type of floors you have. But the next place that is a powerful place, especially if you have ceramic tile, something that's hard, is to place sea salt in your doorway, around your door as you walk in. Now, what are you going to do with this? You're going to sprinkle it there and you're going to leave it overnight or leave it for a couple of hours. Sometimes people sprinkle at night and leave it there to the next morning and they sweep it up. 
Now, what are you going to do when you sweep it up? You're going to put it in a bag and get rid of it from out of your house. The thing is, you're sprinkling the sea salt on your, on your floor to absolutely protect the area, clear out any negative energy that may have came in, and you're actually attracting abundance. This is one powerful way to attract abundance. But I do want to tell you guys this. Watch your floors. Watch what type of floors you have. If you have carpet in your house, that's fine. Just sprinkle it out and then vacuum it up the next day, but get rid of the bag. So now let me get to the third way of using sea salt. Now, the third place that I would tell you to place sea salt is behind your door. Now, listen, everyone. Once you cleaned out your house and saged and did whatever you wanted to do, depending on what it is you're trying to bring in your life, you can absolutely place sea salt behind your door and leave it there. Now, let me tell you this. There's a 10-day rule, okay? What I want you to do, you can use a plastic bag, anything that people just will not see and place it behind your door. Now, for me, I still like my, my organza bags, my um, any little bag that you can use. It could be even smaller than this because they have them very small. You place sea salt in the bag and you place it in the middle back of the, of the door. Now, you can, you can hold, tie it up by the strings. Whatever it is, you can place it in the back middle of the door. If you want it for protection, you are welcome to use a black bag, a smaller one. Or if you're trying to bring in abundance, you can use a green bag. Maybe you want both and just hang them in the corners, okay? But for this, you can hang it in the middle of the door, behind the door, or you may even want to place it on the hinges. Now, again, you're just going to put some sea salt here. If you want to, for this, you can use larger pieces of sea salt that I have at my store and you, so that they don't go through the bag and they'll just sit there. Again, there's a 10-day rule about this, everyone. Just use it, pour it out, and get some more. Again, when you pour out sea salt that's been used to um, protect the home or for abundance or anything like that, get rid of it from the house and replace it. Okay? Just that easy, everyone. Okay, you guys. This is the last thing I want to tell you about sea salt to absolutely protect your home, protect yourself, and to absolutely bring in abundance. The last place I would put sea salt, Himalayan salt, is in the four corners of my house. Now listen, if you have upstairs and downstairs, you can pick a floor to put them on. But I do need you to put it in the four corners of the home. Now you can use a something small, like a little glass. You can cover it. Um, but again, it's the 10-day rule, everyone. I want you to place the salt in the four corners of your home and leave it there. And every 10 days, just replace it. It's just that simple. Now, you're probably saying, well, Yvette, do this really work? Listen, as you're doing this, I really need you to think about what it is that you're trying to attract, what it is you're trying to bring in your life. So if you're trying to bring in abundance, I want you to state, as I place this salt down on the floor, as I place this salt in my wallet, as I place this salt in the four corners of my house, abundance is coming to me in expected and unexpected ways on a continuous basis for the good of everyone involved. You can say things like that. You can say that our father prayer. You can say whatever it is that you feel you need to say as you're doing this, setting the intent for it to work. Now, if you're doing this for protection, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to say, as I lay this salt around my house, any negative energies that are around me, that is in my wallet, that is around me, stopping me from accumulating abundance, that is stopping me from being successful, I am releasing it now. This salt is now releasing and allowing any negative energy around me to leave. I don't need it anymore. I don't want it. And it is gone. I give you permission just to leave. 
Nothing but abundance comes to me at this point. Nothing but protection and love. And you can do the same techniques that I have given you. It is just that simple. Just don't go and sprinkle stuff around and say that it is done. Please, you have to set the intent with whatever it is that you want. Now, another tip is if you're trying to bring in abundance, and again, best day to bring in money and abundance is on a Thursday, the day of Jupiter. It is the day to bring in that abundance, okay? And if you want to do anything for protection, to get rid of anything, the best day to do that is on a Saturday, everyone, okay? That is the day we use to release anything. Again, if you need this to be done at any time, feel free to do it whenever you want to do it. But the best days for money is Thursday, for release is Saturday. So listen, these are just tips that I'm giving you guys to help change your life. If you want more tips like this, you guys, the only way you're going to get it, if you join the family by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. Now, listen, everything is in the description. Thank you for following this channel, and namaste.